Here at the Vine in North Hampshire, a mysterious gold ring has for many years lain almost forgotten in a corner of a room. Now though, after its history has been looked at more closely, a brand new exhibition speculates as to whether the National Trust is in fact the owner of the very ring which inspired so many of J.R.R. Tolkien's literary works. Karen Webb takes up the story. The ring itself is Roman and was discovered by a farmer in a, in a field near Silchester and we're not quite sure how it came to the vine and why but it was certainly here by 1888 when Challoner Chute wrote his history and, and gave information about the ring and also about a curse tablet which was found at a Roman temple site in Lydney in Gloucestershire. The curse tablet written by a Roman asks the god Nodens, the god of the temple at Lydney, to return his ring which he thinks has been stolen by one Sinicianus. The ring itself has an inscription on Sinicianus vivas in Deo, which means live well in God. Is this the same Sinicianus? We're not quite sure, but it's not a common name, certainly not in Britain. The connection that we believe we have with Tolkien is that in the 1930s he advised Mortimer Wheeler on the digs at Lydney on the name Nodens and the area around Lydney during that time in the medieval period was known as Dwarf's Hill. Another coincidence maybe, but we have a, a ring and a curse and an area known as Dwarf's Hill. Could this have inspired Tolkien when he was writing his novels? Come and have a look at our exhibition and decide for yourself. And for more information about the opening hours of the Vine Ring exhibition, please visit www.nationaltrust.org.uk forward slash vine.